So this is 8463 West Rue de l'Amour in Peoria, 85381. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath house built in 1998. 2,036 square feet on two levels on a lot of 5,170 square feet. Exterior paint appears okay. We've got this grass on the front that uh, you know could be reseeded, but I'm thinking as a rental what I would probably do is remove this line of brick here and then just bring in the same rock that's over in this section all the way on and just add a few cactuses or a few plants uh, on the front. Uh, right on the grass, I think it would be less expensive. So we just need to prune up this tree over here and remove some of the weeds heading back out towards the service door. A little bit of paint to be done on the trim of the garage. Flaking on the sides here. Other than that, the garage door is in good shape and it is operational. So going in, this house looks worse than it is. It's a big trash out. Uh, people left with a, a lot of debris in place, which is not untypical of what we see. So this house basically just needs paint and carpet, uh, blinds throughout, and uh, b budget allowing. We'd probably redo these fixtures here, though they're okay. Maybe to just bring in something a little bit more modern into these fixtures downstairs here and the other pendant going up the stairs bring it to into a little bit more of a of a 2012 look so we'll need to change out the blinds on these uh, on these windows uh, out here new carpet new two-tone paint um, kitchen is vinyl appears to be in decent shape I'm pretty sure that we can uh, we can keep it um, cabinets are in good shape they just need handles we'll need all new appliances probably um, and I accounted for that in my underwriting we'll need a new stove a uh, new dishwasher and a new sink over here as it's quite uh, quite chipped and there's no microwave so I think we should be putting a microwave up above here so in this dining area, uh, probably change this pennant light and a new ceiling fan and uh, bring in maybe a little bit more of a modern uh, light fixture here as well. So in the living room area, the carpet's been removed. We're going to be doing all new carpet and under padding anyways in this area. So uh, nothing really major. Uh, just repair this uh, ding on the, uh, on the bar breakfast uh, area. So other than that, just new blinds in this room and new appliances and a new sink. There's a closet leading under the stairs for storage. So just new carpet in this area here. Uh, the bathroom, the, there's a half bath on this floor and uh, we'll need to put some tile in here. Luckily it's not a big space and you know, there's no, no tile in this area. It all needs to be redone. So I would, uh, you know, suggest we have a good look in here um, into this uh, where the water was. Make sure there wasn't any water infiltration or anything in this wall. And I think it would be a bad idea for Scott to cut that open just to make sure that we're good to go. Someone has made a repair. Obviously, water has leaked. So we want to make sure that we repair that. So. My thinking is to put a uh, tile at about this line here, finish the carpet at this level or floating floor, whatever we decide to do, and then just tile this area going into the bathroom and then going in towards the, uh, the uh, laundry room. Two car garage, hot water tank is in place, the garage opener works, so just a good clean out here and probably paint the garage and power wash it get rid of all this debris. We'll need a big trailer and uh, you know, a lot of nice vacuum cleaners and whatnot that uh, I'm sure Scott could barter with his guys to, uh, to do the trash out and keep some of this stuff. So let's head upstairs. 
So going up the stairs, obviously carpet uh, throughout this house. Uh, we mentioned the light fixture going up the stairs. So at the top of the landing, we have a, a linen storage closet. So if we're changing the lights, we'll change this light to on the wall here, these two wall sconces. Let's start with the master. So master needs new blinds and a new ceiling fan, new carpet and paint. Um, Walk-in closets, good size, so we'll need to do paint and carpet in here. It'll look dramatically better. The master, this tile, it's the same tile in the kitchen, appears to be in decent shape, so I think this is just going to need paint, a good cleanup. Um, separate shower, so I'm pretty sure we can clean this up and, uh, and make this double sink uh, with a proper two-tone paint look real nice. Um, so I don't think there's anything... Uh, yeah, maybe need a new toilet seat uh, in here. Other than that, it uh, like I said, it just looks worse than it really is once the all the debris and the carpet's gone and it's painted. Child's bedroom number one, bedroom number two. It's a good size room. There is no ceiling fan. The uh, doors for the uh, closet are here, so we need to put in a, a ceiling fan and blinds, paint and carpet. So we'll have to wire something uh, directly in here, but it's a very good size room. It's bigger than the standard 10 by 10. Oh, I'm noticing the master doors will probably have to be changed. We've got a good size gouge at the bottom of this. So I don't know if we can buy just one door or should we, uh, yeah, we need to be replaced. So child's bedroom number two, bedroom number three. So same as the other room, blinds missing, a ceiling fan, closet doors are missing but are in the room. And so uh, just, just a good clean up and paint. Bedroom number four, child's bedroom number three. This would be a standard size 10 by 10 so needs a ceiling fan again, the blinds and uh, carpet and paint in here. So in the um, bathroom, just a good cleanup paint. Looks like a nuclear holocaust, and they just left in the middle of everything. But uh, that's not atypical of people waiting to the last minute, not giving themselves time to clean up and move out properly. So the backyard also needs work. There's this mark on this wall here that uh, will need to be retextured and fixed and with paint. So the backyard covered patio in good shape. No sign of any uh, any leakage. So rock around the perimeter. Just clean up the. Uh, the rock that's there and trim back these bushes over here and this tree. The central area around these uh, bricks uh, is grass and in this case I would suggest we, we do some grass in here with the rocks around it so just repair this border and then just put grass in here. Just clean this up and remove this. Um, the AC unit is in place. The panel's been open but I'm uh, uh, it looks like it's it's operational, so we'll have to have that checked out by our AC guy. There are some screens missing, one, two screens over here that'll need to be replaced. Um, so basically, just clean up the rock around the perimeter, put some grass in the central area here. and uh, paint the uh, columns of this, uh, uh, paint the whole, all the trim around the, the patio here, but that'll be a very nice backyard once we clean this tree up and, uh, and put some plants in, in the backyard. Uh, it's a good sized backyard 
and uh, with a grass uh, four bedroom should rent really well. So this is 8463 West Rue de la Moor in Peoria, 85381, four bedroom, two and a half bath, built in uh, 1998.